everybody, it is Julie. Welcome back to Nobis Beauty Guru. Today I have a tag video for you. So this is one that I actually really love. It is a makeup drugstore tag. So this is I Heart Drugstore Makeup. I love drugstore makeup. So I'm going to try to do this as succinctly as possible, but I could rave about drugstore products for forever. So I do have the originator of this tag. I will link them in the description box down below. This is an old one. I think the one that I found was from like 2012, but I haven't done any drugstore makeup videos that are like drugstore makeup specific. So we're going to get into some of my favorite drugstore makeup. I am very excited about this. Let's get started. The first question is my favorite drugstore makeup brand and this is difficult for me because I have a lot that I love, but I'm gonna go with NYX only because across the board, I like more of their products and they always have sales. My favorite cheek, face, and lip products. So let's start with face. My favorite face product in terms of foundation is definitely Milani. I fell in love with their Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 foundation. I love this. I have shades 1 and 5. 5 worked for me in the summer. 1 works for me in the winter. Somewhere in between they work. I honestly, I don't know how I went from like 1 to 5, but I did. So now I at least have a range that I can mix with, and I love the finish of this. So for face, I love that. ELF HD Setting Powder for face, as well as I love the Airspun, uh, this is Cody, right? Cody Airspun Loose Face Setting Powder. So I love this, this is drugstore as well. I think it's only sold at Walgreens that I could find it, but I love this for face as well. I love the NYX Dewy Setting, um, yeah. Do we finish setting spray and the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder. NYX pore filler. I usually use this along my T-zone and then I use like an e.l.f. mineral primer. This is the poreless face primer. I use that everywhere else. So I like something more silicone-y for around the rest of my face and then a pore filler around the center. The pressed powder. For that, I have a NYX mineral powder. This one's loose or the NYX Hydra Touch. This is their foundation powder. So... NYX for most of my face, honestly, except for the foundation. For my cheeks, I have a lot of loves. I'm gonna probably give this one to NYX as well, although Wet n Wild has some great ones, but I love NYX blushes. I like, this is their contour in taupe. My other blushes are all deep potted and like in one of my big palettes that I'm not gonna bring out right now, but I love the NYX blushes, and I do like these new ones. This one is in Soft Spoken, and it is gorgeous, so gorgeous. The Strobe Genius, this is their highlighting palette. It is gorgeous. I also love their NYX Highlight and Contour palette, and this I use for setting under the eye. Some of these do have a little bit more shimmer for highlighting, but I use this one for setting under the eye, the banana powder, and then these contour shades are also really, really great but I do prefer my NYX blush in taupe over any of these colors for contouring, but these are great for bronzing. And then lips, I think I have to give it to NYX again. I do really love the Milani lipsticks. They're great, they smell so good, but in general, I really do like the NYX lipsticks. So this is one of their butter glosses in Pops. That's what I'm wearing right now, I love it. I love their matte lipsticks. This is their soft matte lip creams. I like their liquid suede. I like their matte lipsticks. Like just any form of their lipsticks, I really, really do love. What else is this? This is the soft matte lip cream. This one is in Copenhagen. They're just amazing. My least favorite drugstore product is hard for me. I have to say that I honestly have not found any physician formula foundations that I like. So I know that people go bananas for Jessie's Girl. That is in Rite Aid. I don't like Jessie's Girl's products. I've tried them. I've tried their palettes. I'm just not a fan. And the big claim to fame for Jessie's Girl is their like liquid eyeliner pen. And for me, it bleeds. So it like goes up into all my fine lines and wrinkles. I cannot use that. And I know that that's one of their like claims to fame. So I don't like Jessie's Girl. So I guess that. Um, Best makeup bargain by far any time of the day is e.l.f. 
I think that they have phenomenal products. I love their setting sprays. I love their eyeshadows. And I also think that their brushes for like $3 are so good. So I think that e.l.f. as a brand is the best bargain you're going to get. So I think in general, anything by e.l.f. is going to be phenomenal quality for the price point. I think that they are highly over, not overlooked, because I think by now everybody realizes that they're quality products, but you look at something at that price point and you think it can't possibly be good. Trust me, try it, it is. Um, my favorite underdog product, something that I love that usually gets overlooked, and for that I'm going to pick an e.l.f. product. This is their clear brow gel and lash mascara. So I don't use it for lash mascara. This one's actually almost empty. It's super gross, but like... <laughs> Each side of this just has a clear gel. I use this on my brows almost all the time unless I have a sample that I'm using and it is double-ended. I think this is like a $3 product from them. But this to me, and I have tried the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, it works just as good. It's a clear brow gel and it's three bucks to her, like what, 20 some? I think that this is worth every penny and if you need a clear brow gel, use this. I don't understand why you're paying more for a brow gel. A drugstore product that is overpriced and for this I'm probably going to go with the majority of Physicians Formula products and I know that I'm kind of talking about the same product lines over and over again but I do use cruelty free makeup so it does limit what I can use out of the drugstore. I can't use L'Oreal or Revlon or CoverGirl or Rimmel um, so there's a lot that I'm, I'm limited to when it comes to drugstore but for me, Physicians Formula is one of the most expensive brands at the drugstore already, and I just don't love them. I've tried their foundations, I've tried their powders, I've tried their um, eyeshadows, I've tried their um, eyeliner pens, I've tried their eyeliner pencils. I do like their bronzer, I like their butter bronzer, but in general, they're just very, very high price, and I just haven't found anything there that's a holy grail product for me. So I'd rather go for something like NYX or ELF or Milani, especially when they're on sale, as opposed to Physicians Formula, which you can find on sale, but it's already pricier and I just don't love any of their products. Show my best drugstore dupes. Now, I have not gone through and actually like worked on different dupes because I don't really do dupes videos and that is in and of itself a pretty specific niche. There's tons of people on YouTube that specifically do dupe videos and I'm just not one of those people, so I don't really have great dupes for you, but I did sit down and try to at least get a couple. So what I do have are some that are pretty close. I don't know that they're exact dupes, but for me, I think that they're pretty comparable. And that is the Kat Von D Shade and Light. This is what that looks like. I love it. And again, there's a difference in price points. So there's a difference in ingredients and there's going to be a difference in wear, but the NYX contour and highlight palette I think dupes this pretty well. There is some comparable shades when it comes to the when it comes to the bronzer section there are comparable shades. You can get the same look using this as you can with these and then when it comes to the setting powders there is a banana and there is this skin tone. This orange one you can't replicate with the NYX but the others you really can using this one. So for me it's a pretty big price difference between the two of these and I think that you really can get the same kind of a look. The wear time might not be the same, blendability may not be perfect, but if you use a good base and you know you know how to blend makeup, you can work with both of these and this one really is not that bad. I like this one. The other thing that I wanted to try to dupe for you guys was something that a lot of people use and that is Becca's Opal and this is one of her classically famous highlighters. So that's what that looks like right there. The Precious Petals Highlighter from Wet n Wild. So they look a little bit different. This one looks a little bit pinker, but I found that when you swatch them, they really do swatch pretty similarly. So this is the Precious Petals and this is Opal. So they're pretty stinking close. I think this was like $2.99 and this one full size is like in the 20s, high 20s. So in terms of high end to drugstore dupes, I thought those were pretty stinking close. Uh, a drugstore product that is not worth the hype. For this, I would say probably any cushion foundation. I think that it's a lot of money for too little product. 
and it's just not necessary. I already got rid of it and I know that they stopped their collab but the Wet n Wild and Fergie collection so I think that a lot of the Fergie collection like they weren't quads because I think there was like five or six shadows in it but they were like the little rectangular. They looked like this. This one is great. This is center stage. This is Hollywood Boulevard. This is a gorgeous highlighter but it was like this shape and it looked like um and they were just different eyeshadows and they were crap. I got rid of them all. So I would say the Fergie line, I was not a huge fan of it. Some of the lipsticks were okay and I think it's all been repackaged. Like they're keeping a lot of the products just in different packaging, but I did not like the eyeshadows that she put out. I think that they were a different quality than most of the Wet n Wild shadows and I did not like it. That was everything. That was the drugstore makeup tag. That There was only eight questions. So I know I went over a couple things in each category. So hopefully you guys got some value out of this. I would love to know your favorite drugstore products down below. Did I mention any? Did I miss any? Again, I love a lot from these brands, from Milani, Wet n Wild, Elf, and from NYX. I think that they're great. I think that if you also go to the drugstore priced section of Ulta, I love Catrice a lot. I love Essence a whole bunch. So there's definitely some wins over there. Those guys are cruelty free as well and I really do enjoy those. So definitely let me know down below if you have any other must try products from the drugstore that are cruelty free because I'm always in the market for trying new stuff. I hope you've enjoyed my I love drugstore makeup tag. If you did be sure to give me a big old thumbs up, click subscribe, share the video with your friends and I will see all of you in my next video. Bye!